I miss you so much, Mom. <sighs> Even my tears, they're different now. They're heavier. <sighs> Morning, sweetheart. How about a little smile to start the day? Hmm. Morning, Dad. <sighs> Remember, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. I'll see you in the kitchen. Okay. <laughs> I made your favorite pancakes, Jesse. <laughs> Not hungry, Dad. It's okay. We'll get through this together, no matter how long it takes. <sighs> Have a great day, Jesse. Yeah, I guess. If Melina just evaporated. <sighs> Eat something in school, okay? Hmm? Okay. You're strong, Jesse. Remember that. I know, Dad. <laughs> Take care, sweetheart. I'll see you at home for dinner. Okay. Bye! <sighs> I'll be okay, Mom. She is. Jess, over here. <laughs> Chuckles, you're a sight for sore eyes. Wow. You know it. Ready for another day of epic learning? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the epicest. Hey, Jess, I've got a joke that'll make your day. Guaranteed. All right. Hit me with your best shot, Chuckles. <laughs> Why did the math book look sad? Because it had too many problems. <laughs> You're ridiculous, Chuckles. <laughs> That's my job, making you laugh. <laughs> Remember, Jess, we're in this together. Learning and laughing, partners in crime. Thanks, Chuckles. You really know how to brighten my day. Well, well, if it isn't the dynamic duo. Hmm. Huh? What's so funny, you two? Ugh, I'm so sick of seeing you two together. You look like a couple of jokes. Huh? Huh? He's just jealous of our awesomeness. Well, well, if it isn't the charity cases. I bet you're just so hungry, aren't you? All you do is look forward to devouring your meal here. Oh, well, guess what? I don't care! Well, Melina, you're not wrong about looking forward to food. But maybe it's time you try looking forward to some manners. <laughs> you two don't deserve to eat here or even go to the school. This place is for the rich, not losers like you. Uh. <sighs> Melina, you know the principal would love to hear your concerns. Complain to them about admitting us. And you can mention how well off you are while you're at it. Or how we're not. No need to say it out loud. We all know. Oh, how considerate of you to acknowledge the obvious! Yes, everyone should be well aware that I'm rolling in riches, while you two will forever be stuck in your loser bubbles. Hey, Jess, don't let her get to you. It's Friday, and you know what that means. Ice cream day! Woohoo! You got it! So, what flavor are you thinking of? Oh, double chocolate fudge is calling my name. Ah, classic choice. But I'm leaning towards the raspberry swirl. <laughs> of 
course you are, Mr. Adventure Flavors. <laughs> Finally, it's the weekend! You know what that means, Jess. <laughs> Ice cream time! <laughs> Our favorite part of the week. Yes. <gasps> of all the times, why does she have to be right there? Mm -hmm. Just keep walking. Maybe she won't notice us. <sighs> it's like she has a radar for us. Every time we try to avoid her, she's right in our path. <sighs> Seems like all Melina sees is us, Jess. Doubt she'll let us slip away that easily. <laughs> hey! Uh oh. <laughs> well, well, if it isn't the weekend losers. <laughs> oh, Joy! The weekend is here. My eyes can finally take a break from your face. I can already picture it. You two having a super thrilling weekend of doing absolutely nothing. It's all right, Chuckles. Let's just go. Oh, we're thrilled too, Melina. Thrilled that we won't be seeing you for the next two days. Exactly, Chuckles. Best weekend plan ever. <laughs> oh, how sweet of you to dream about a weekend without me ruining it with your loser presence. Don't worry, I won't let you forget about me that easily. <laughs> Let's just go, Chuckles. No point in engaging with her. Agreed. Let's not give her the satisfaction she's craving. Ice cream! <laughs> I can practically taste the flavors already. Hey, Chuckles, order whatever your heart desires. It's on me. <laughs> Seriously, but I only brought enough for one scoop. No worries, my friend. Ice cream Friday is my treat. Wait, you're always treating me on Fridays? Hmm. Yep, it's our tradition. Now go ahead and don't hold back. I'll take a scoop of chocolate swirl, a scoop of caramel crunch, a scoop of raspberry swirl, and... Oh, throw in a spoon of rainbow sprinkles. <laughs> rainbow sprinkles? <laughs> That's ambitious, Chuckles. Well, gotta live up to the title of Mr. Adventure Flavors, right? Hmm. Thank you. I'll have a scoop of mint chocolate chip, a scoop of strawberry delight, and top it all off with a scoop of double chocolate fudge. You're seriously getting the mint chocolate chip again? Mm -hmm. That's like the fifth week in a row. <laughs> and I regret nothing. Jess, we officially created the most epic ice cream concoctions. Woohoo! You bet! But you know what they say, go big or go home. Thank you. I might need an extra hand to carry this. Well, good thing we've got two hands each. <laughs> hey, Jess, see those rainbow sprinkles? They're not just for the ice cream, you know. I added them because I desperately need to finish this week with colorful explosions. Especially after all of Melina's drama. <laughs> well, Chuckles, enjoy it. You're about to dig into the most vibrant, rainbow-filled weekend ever. And Chuckles, don't even wonder why I keep getting mint chocolate chip. It's my go-to flavor to cool my head after dealing with Melina. <laughs> oh, I get it, Jess. Minty fresh to the rescue from all that Melina stuff. You know, Jess, ice cream Friday night just might be the best invention ever. Couldn't agree with more chuckles. It's like a little piece of joy at the end of the week. <laughs> hey. 
Hey there, champ. You seem much happier. How was your day? Huh? Hi, Dad. My day actually ended great. Chuckles and I had some crazy moments. <laughs> well, that sounds fun. Tell me all about it. <laughs> well, Melina was up to her usual tricks, but Chuckles and I stood our ground. And guess what? Ice Cream Friday was a rainbow explosion of flavors! <laughs> rainbow explosion, huh? That must have been something. Absolutely! Mint chocolate chip to cool my head off from all the Melina drama, and Chuckles went with the rainbow sprinkles for a colorful lunch of the week! <laughs> uh, you two always manage to brighten my day with your adventures. We do try our best, Dad. <sighs> Jesse, I'm really proud of how you handle Melina's behavior. It can't be easy, especially with everything you're going through after losing your mom. <sighs> Thanks, Dad. It's not easy, but I'm trying. You're doing great, kiddo. And just so you know, I'm planning to speak with the principal about the way Melina treats you. I'll find a way to get off work on a weekday. I appreciate that, Dad, but you don't have to. I can handle it. Now, Jesse, I also want to make sure you don't get pushed to your limit by Melina. I know how much she can get under your skin, and I don't want you to end up in a situation where you might... Well, you know. Hmm. I... understand, Dad. You're right. I need to be careful. It's not just about her taunts. I want to protect you from others finding out about your unique ability. I know, Dad. Thanks for looking out for me. Always, sweetheart. You're my priority, and I'll do whatever it takes to keep you safe. <sighs> Alright, enough serious talk. Let's focus on this delicious dinner I whipped up. <laughs> Definitely! It smells amazing, Dad! <laughs> Good to hear. I noticed you didn't have much ice cream earlier. Still full? Huh? A bit, Tad. You know how those ice cream Fridays can get wild? <laughs> <laughs> well, I can imagine. Well, I made your favorite pancakes this morning, but you're already off on your adventure. I'm sorry I missed them. But I'm going to make up for it by enjoying this dinner. Dad, how was your day? Hmm. Well, you know work keeps me busy, but there's a friend who's always ready to listen when I need to talk. I get it, Dad. Friends can be really important. Yeah, they can. But I also know that no one can replace your mom. You're right, Dad. Mom's special. And so are you, Jesse. You're always there for me, too. I always will be, Dad. Thanks for this meal, by the way. It's really good. <laughs> You're welcome, sweetheart. It's always a pleasure to cook for you. <sighs> I guess it's time to call it a night. Good night, Jesse. Sleep well. Good night, Dad. Love you. <laughs> Love you too, honey. See you tomorrow. Bye. Hey mom, it's me again. I had a pretty okay day. Chuckles and I stood up to Melina and Ice Cream Friday was... Well, you know how much I love it. <laughs> I wish you were here, mom. I miss you so much. I wish I could tell you everything like I used to. I hope you're proud of me, mom. I'm doing my best. Part of your family. That's a big step, Ethan. Is <laughs> Oh, hey, Rosie. What a coincidence indeed. <laughs> Ice cream? I'm sorry, I don't eat much of it. I'm afraid I'll get fat. <laughs> well, I'm glad I could find a convenient reunion spot. Hmm. Anyway, having your own business sounds like a good idea. How can I help? Sure, coffee sounds great. <laughs> <sighs> These socks never seem to match up, do they? 
company or job, how will we manage financially? A secret? Well, I appreciate that. Are you joking? I, I don't even know what to say. Well, I can't say they're perfect, but I'd like to think that I've improved my sock matching game. How is that possible? Well, well, you- <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Close enough for comfort. I says Ethan and Jesse. I'm on board, Ethan. I mean, who wouldn't want to be a part of a business? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you ever need a sock matching consultant, you know where to find me. And I'm just wondering why we're only Business now! Well, better late than never, right? That's a great idea, Ethan. Just- Oh, I think it's a well-deserved reward after our laundry battles. Fun day out in the mall. Come on, Jesse, it'll be a blast. We will have so- You might be onto something there, Rosie. Fun. Sure, Jesse. I promise we'll find something you'll enjoy. <laughs> Consider it done, Miss Sock Detective. <laughs> Are you, Rosie? Hello, Ethan. What's up? Please, have a seat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Of course, Ethan. Don't worry. No, it's just how I was raised. Good care of Jesse. Jesse, it looks like your dad's got more work to do. He wants. <laughs> oh, you're absolutely right. It's nice to catch up. Ready for some adventure? Oh. Yeah, doesn't it? Unexpected moments can lead to wonderful things. Make sure to bring money. I have a long list of things to buy. <sighs> Who said it was for both of you? No, oh, uh, thanks, Rosie. I, well, I try my best. Care of you, so I deserve to go shopping. I've been eyeing those designer bags, new clothes, and ex Well, I do what I can. <laughs> it's the perfect day to shop for them. Don't you dare talk to me that way! You Part of my team? What do you mean? Oh. Ah. And what I'm capable of doing? You cry money, so show me where you're hiding it, and I'll grab some or. <laughs> <laughs> A superhero trio. Uh, well, that sounds fun. Oh, Jesse, let's stop pretending. We don't. You really think we could be a team? Hmm? Money now, so I can treat myself. Will you have the house to yourself? Hmm. Well, I think Jesse would love that. And having a partner, that could be pretty great. <laughs> <laughs> now, Rosie, I appreciate your offer. I really do, but. I'm not the kind of person who makes big decisions quickly. Home <sighs> some ice cream as much as you want. That's the best deal you get from me. And honestly, I'm a bit afraid. Jessie's my world, and I don't want to rush into anything that could disrupt her. Look away from me! Open up! Something bad will happen to your dad if you tell him, so make no mistake, or you'll be stuck with me. Open the door, now! Je I suppose that makes sense. Bad to happen to you as well, right? Listen well and do as I say if you and your dad don't want to get hurt. I you mean like spending time together? Hmm. Get your attention? I'm not stupid. You won't get away easily. No one let. <laughs> I 
I can give you a ride home, Rosie. Finally, you're useful for something. I won't be long. All right then, another time. <laughs> Remember, your dad is far away. Don't <laughs> being stupid for both of your safety. Hmm. Oh, uh, thanks, Rosie. He's my son. <laughs> Jesse, I heard you're about to finish Brookhaven School with flying colors. Congratulations! Thanks, Dad. I've been working really hard. <laughs> I can tell. And I'm proud of you. What are your plans for after school? Hmm. Well, I was thinking of talking to Chuckles. Maybe he knows of some work opportunities? That's a great idea. You know, your hard work and determination will take you far. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. I hope so. Now, Jesse, there's something I want to talk to you about. Sure. What is it? Well, you know that friend I mentioned? The one I've been talking to? Yeah, I remember. Her name's Rosie, and she's special to me, Jesse. Rosie? I've never heard you mention her before. Wow. I know, and that's because it's only now that things are getting serious. Rosie and I have been getting to know each other. Getting serious? Yeah. And Jesse, I want you to meet her. She's important to me. <laughs> Dad, I... I'm happy for you, but this feels sudden. I know, and look, I understand. It's just that I think it's... well, I think it's time for you to meet her. I guess if it makes you happy, I can give it a try. Thanks, honey. And look, I know it's unexpected, but I think you'll like her. Oh. We'll see. <laughs> uh, hi, Rosie. When are you free to meet Jesse? Hmm. Rosie says she'd like to meet you today if that's okay. Wow, that's really great. Today? She wants to meet me today? Huh? Yeah, she's quite eager. She even mentioned she's in Los Panchos and would bring us Mexican food. <laughs> Wait, today? Mexican food? Hmm? Yeah, it seems she's quite enthusiastic. She wants to meet you right away. <laughs> Wow, she's not wasting any time. Seems that way. Are you up for it? Dad, you're the one who made a friend. You decide. Thanks, Jesse. And look, sometimes life surprises us. We just kind of, well, have to go with it. Okay, Dad, but next time, warn me if we're having guests over for dinner on the same day. And I promise to give you a heads up next time. <sighs> Deal. <laughs> I'm going to my room to freshen up a bit, Dad. <laughs> I didn't expect this moment to come, Mom. It's all happening so fast. Dad seems happy and I'm surprised by that, but... I know he deserves it, Mom. He's good, and he should be happy. Please watch over us, Mom. I don't know anything about Rosie, and I'm worried. Uh, I'll be there, Dad. Rosie was dad's type. This is a whole new side of dad. Hello? 
Jesse, sweetheart, I'm so glad you're here. I want you to meet Rosie. <laughs> mm -hmm. Instructions, eat the ice cream with Maddox. Maddox is right, we need money to buy our mansion. Don't worry, Maddox. <laughs> Got this. Who's that, Jesse? Hello, this is Rosie, Jesse's stepmother. How about you come over for dinner? I Quiet the storyteller, isn't she? Making herself comfortable already. And? Great, see you then. Jesse, you really need to understand. Your dad's safety and Chuckles' safety are in your hands. Whoa. Four and shut up if you don't want anyone to get hurt. Hello, Chuckles. I'm Rosie, Jesse's stepmother. Come on in. We're just about to start dinner. Our That's quite a big step. Dinner. Jesse, Chuckles, dig in. Chuckles, do you know about Jesse's eye but an ice cream store? Quite an ambitious plan. <laughs> Waiting? What do you mean? Teen, don't you think? That's impressive. Glad to know that you're part of it. How did you two come up with <laughs> I see. He always puts a lot of thought into things, so that's why I'm surprised to only hear about this now. I'm sorry I didn't mention it. I was waiting for the right time, Jesse. Look, Rosie offered to live with us. <sighs> Whatever makes you happy, Dad. And why did she kick you out? I didn't know about that. Thanks for sharing that with me, Chuckles. She's trying to make her place here too quickly. Good feeling that we'll get along. I'll be helping around in the shop. What role will you be playing in the business? <laughs> we'll see how this goes. I guess I have to give him for Dad's happiness. Jesse and Chuckles. Jesse, it's time to clean up the dining area and kitchen. Make sure everything is tidy before. <laughs> Jesse, I'm sorry about how sudden this changes, but how do you feel about Rosie moving in? Hmm. Dad, it's not about me. You should be happy and don't worry about me. Sorry, I'm just trying to process everything. I understand, sweetheart. You're important in this too, but there's something you should know. Rosie doesn't know about your special ability to cry money. <sighs> I don't want her to find out, Dad. I won't let that happen. I respect your choice. Things won't change between us, right? Never, Jesse. I promise. I just want you to give Rosie a chance. <sighs> I'm scared, Dad. Me too. But hey, I don't want to lose Rosie. <sighs> Good night, Jesse. I love you. And hey, thanks. Love you too, Dad. Mom, today was a lot. I met Rosie, Dad's friend, and she's going to move in with us. It's all so sudden, Mom. I wish you were here to talk to. I don't know how to feel, Mom. It's overwhelming. Hey Jess, good morning. What did one wall say to the other wall? I don't know, Chuckles. What? I'll meet you at the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, look who's here. The dynamic losers, as always. Uh, Melina, give us a break, please. Yeah, we're just trying to have a good last day. Aw, look who's trying to play as the authority now. You two really think you can tell me what to do. Newsflash, losers. I couldn't care less about you and your day. <laughs> Melina, just leave us alone. 
We're not here to argue with you. <gasps> oh, how touching! The dynamic duo trying to stand up for themselves. We're not looking for trouble, Melina. <sighs> well, I am. Just remember, no matter what you do, you'll always be losers. How sweet. The losers need their own hideout. <laughs> We're just taking a break, Melina. Get out of the school. You don't belong here. <clears throat> don't bother planning how to actually fit in. You never will. Melina, seriously, we're not interested. Don't talk back, Chuckles. She's just trying to get a reaction. <sighs> oh, did you actually think you could strike me? It's so cute how you two always stick together like outcasts in your own little world. We'd rather be outcasts than bullies. Chuckles, don't! If you respond, she'll never go away! <laughs> Aww, look at Jessie, always there for her little sidekick! <laughs> You're right, Jess. Let's not give her any more satisfaction. <laughs> exactly. Let's focus on our last day. As if anything you do matters. Well, it matters to us. Last day of school, and you're still losers. Guess some things never change. <laughs> you know, Melina, it's amazing how creative you are. Let's go, Chuckles. Goodbye, Melina. <gasps> Don't you dare come back here. You losers know nothing. You look and act dumb. <laughs> we all know that we beat you, Melina. That's probably why you hate us so much. <laughs> Study, Melina. It's not rocket science. <laughs> Whatever! Just don't think this means anything. I'll be on top next time. We'll be waiting, Melina. <laughs> See you next school year. No way! I won't let you guys get away with this. Leave! She really can't handle not being the best, huh? Some people just can't stand to see others doing well. <laughs> well, let's not let her spoil our excitement. We did it, Jess. Another school year down. You're right, Chuckles. And nothing can take that away. Hey, Chuckles. This is the perfect way to celebrate Ice Cream Friday and the last day of school. Absolutely, Jess. What if we could make this even more awesome? Mm -hmm. What do you have in mind? Mm -hmm. How about working here for the summer? It's like a dream job, surrounded by ice cream all day. <laughs> hmm. oh. You know, that's a great idea. I mean, we practically live for ice cream and it could be a fun way to spend our time. I can't be at home this summer. Um, I forgot to tell you, I'll have a stepmother who's moving in. <laughs> what? That's crazy. Who is she? Tell me more. Can we talk about it next time? I've had enough of Melina today. Let's end this day well, please. Absolutely. I can't wait to learn all of the ice cream secrets. They better hire us. <laughs> Imagine all the free ice cream we can handle. <laughs> oh, you read my mind. Well, I guess the first step is to ask if they're hiring and to see if they're interested in having us. Definitely. Let's do this. We're here to celebrate the last day of school, but we were also curious. Are you guys hiring for the summer? Hmm. We're huge fans of ice cream and we're quick learners. <laughs> Thank you. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. 
Thank you so much. We'd love to be a part of the team. Nice. All right, Chuckles, it's Ice Cream Friday and our last day of school. Let's make this celebration extra sweet. Absolutely, Jess. Prepare yourself for the most epic ice cream order ever. Hmm, I'll have a scoop of vanilla with chocolate fudge, top it with cookies and cream, and my favorite mint chocolate chip. <laughs> Yum! I'm going all out. Give me a scoop of the triple chocolate, make it explode with a scoop of marshmallows and a scoop of birthday cake, and hey, can you throw in some rainbow sprinkles? This is going to be the perfect tree after dealing with Melina all day. <laughs> oh, absolutely. She won't ruin our celebration. Oh, yeah. To Ice Cream Friday and the end of the school year. And to surviving Melina's craziness. <laughs> you know, Chuckles, Ice Cream has a magical ability to make everything better. And mint makes everything cooler. You're absolutely right, Jess. This is an ultimate double celebration. Who knows, Chuckles? This could be the start of an amazing summer adventure. <laughs> absolutely, Jess. And even if we don't get the job, we've got our ice cream in each other. Thank you for the treat. <laughs> Anything for you, Chuckles. <laughs> Chuckles, check your message! This could be it! Okay, here goes. Wow. Wow! <laughs> we got it, Chuckles! We really got the job! <laughs> I can't believe it, Jess. This is incredible. <gasps> wow! This solves my problem not wanting to spend my summer with Rosie, my stepmother! <sighs> I can't wait! Don't forget that you can talk to me about it, Jess. Whoa! I know, Chuckles. Thank you. This is going to be the best summer ever. <laughs> See you at the Brookhaven ice cream shop. Absolutely. Let's meet there and talk about what we need to do for our first day. <laughs> I can't wait to learn how to scoop them perfectly and serve those delicious sundaes. We'll give it our all, Chuckles. And who knows? Maybe we'll even come up with some new ice cream creations. That sounds like an awesome plan, Jess. Let's make this summer unforgettable. See you. Let's get some rest and prepare for our first day. See ya! <laughs> Chuckles, are you ready for our first day of work? Absolutely, Jess. I can't wait to put on the apron and dive into a world of ice cream. Hello. Wow. Thank you so much. We're so happy to be here. <laughs> yeah, and we can't wait to start learning. much for this opportunity. We're really looking forward to serving the owner, our very first customer. Yeah. Hey, Chuckles, it's a bit slow right now. You know what that means, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely, Jess. It's time for flavor experimenting. Get ready to witness some ice cream magic. Let's do this. How about mixing caramel swirls with a bit of pretzels? Oh, that sounds amazing! And how about a hint of sea salt to balance the sweetness? Perfect! We're like ice cream wizards! Indeed! Wizards of the frozen treats! <laughs> mm-hmm. This is actually incredible! We're onto something here, Chuckles! 
You know, Jess, every time we're here, I can't help but dream about having our own ice cream store someday. I know, right? A place where we can create endless flavors and share our love for ice cream with everyone! <laughs> Imagine the happiness on people's faces when they taste our creations. It's a dream we're chasing, Chuckles. Definitely. And we'll make it happen. Together. <laughs> You two? Working here? Seriously? Melina, we got the job fair and square. And we're here to work hard and learn. <laughs> this is my place! You can't tell me what to do! Leave! Melina, we earned this opportunity. We're not here to fight, Melina. We're here to work. Well, I'm the owner. When I say leave, you follow my order. I told you that you'll never get away. I don't care if you earn the job. I have a say, and I'm telling you to go away. Hmm. Hmm? Jess, I think we don't have a choice here. Molina's family owns this place. <sighs> I know, Chuckles. I have to go home now. <sighs> Call me. I can't let anyone see me cry. Stay strong, just like you always told me, Mom. Jess, how are you? Mm -hmm. I hate Melina for kicking us out of her shop. Brookhaven Ice Cream serves really tasty ice cream. Melina doesn't deserve to be the owner. Ice cream shops are supposed to be happy and fun, not controlled by someone who's mean and bully others. Hey, Chuckles, I know, but I've got an idea, a big one. <laughs> what is it? Let's open our own ice cream store. Wow, that's too ambitious, Jess. We're both dreamers, but we're just teens. And that's grown-up stuff. I know it's a big step, but we can do it! We love ice cream and we learned a lot at the Brookhaven shop! <laughs> yeah, we learned flavors, how to scoop and serve, but Jess, we don't really know how to start a business. I was actually hoping we could talk more about what Melina did to us. Chuckles, I don't want to waste our time thinking about her. We can't let bad people bring us down. And about the business, we'll figure it out. We have each other and we always make it work. I love the idea. You know that, Jess. But that's huge. And I don't have money. I can ask my parents for that. Don't worry about the money. I'll talk to my dad about it. Jess, opening a business takes a lot of money. It's not something we could just ask your dad to do. He's raising you alone, remember? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Tell me, Jess, is this about your stepmother? Is she that bad? Are we talking about this just so you can avoid her? Chuckles, I haven't been completely honest with you. There's something you need to know. And this is not about Rosie. I don't know much about her. What is it? I have a unique ability. I can cry money. Wait, what? Are you serious? Are you okay, Jess? Tell me I'm not dreaming. Hello? Mm -hmm. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. I've had this since I was born. When I cry, my tears turn into money. Real money. Jess, is this a prank? Chuckles, I promise I'm not lying. You know me. Mm -hmm. My parents and I haven't told anyone because I don't want to use it for the wrong reasons, so we've just been keeping all the money I've cried. If this is a joke, it's a pretty good one. But you don't do jokes. 
That's my job, unless your stepmother made you crazy. I wouldn't joke about something like this, Chuckles. I've always kept it a secret because I didn't want anyone to treat me differently. Rosie doesn't know. Okay, let's say I believe you. Why are you telling me now? Hmm. Because I want us to use this gift for something good. Starting our own ice cream store is the perfect way. We'll use the money for our business without bothering anyone else. Wow, Jess, I... I don't even know what to say. You don't have to say anything right now. Just know I trust you with the secret and I believe in us, Chuckles. <sighs> you know, if you told me earlier, we could have shown Melina that you're not as poor as she thinks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no. A lot of people are having a hard time. I, I don't want to make it more unfair. All right, Jess. I'm really glad to be a part of this. Let's make it happen. But what do I tell my parents? Hmm? I'll talk to my dad first. Thank you, Chuckles. Your support means everything to me. Dad, we tried to work at Brookhaven Ice Cream, but Melina's family owns it and Melina kicked us out. Are you okay, Jesse? Oh, I need to talk to her parents. This is wrong. Please tell me about these things much sooner. I'm just worried about you. Is Chuckles okay? Hmm. We're okay, Dad. Don't worry. Please don't talk to Melina's parents. It will only make things worse when we go back to school. We don't want to work there since Melina is in charge anyway. Don't waste your time on it. Her parents need to know. So, what's your plan now? Dad, I'm sure they know. The servers in Brookhaven Ice Cream Shop saw what Melina did and they couldn't do anything. Anyway, I want to open our own ice cream store with you and Chuckles. Can you please help us make this happen? Uh, can we use the money you saved? Look, what happened with Melina is wrong and not something we should be silent about. I'm respecting your request. Opening a business is a big decision. Making that happen would mean, though, well, I'd have to quit my job. But Dad, it might be better for you. You'd be giving your time to something we could have as our own and we'd have more time together. Hmm, you have a good point, Jesse. I just worry because I don't know much about making ice cream. <sighs> That's okay, Dad. We can learn together. We have the whole summer to figure it out so we don't make mistakes. You're right, Jesse. We can learn and grow together. But there's something else you said about Chuckles. Yeah, I told him my secret about crying money. He loves the idea and we've been dreaming about it, but he doesn't have the money to help us start the store. You told him your secret? <gasps> I know it's a big deal, but I trust him. He won't tell anyone and he finally believes that we can make our plan happen. All right, Jesse, I trust your judgment. Now, how about I talk to Rosie about her ice cream store idea? She'll be moving in and, well, I know she could help us. Up to you, Dad. I trust you. Thank you. Jesse, I've been thinking. Maybe it is a good idea to tell Rosie about your secret. I know you said you don't want her to know, but I've been thinking hard. She'll be living with us, and, well, it might help her understand what you're going through. Besides, it's not healthy for you to be alone in your room when you feel like crying. I don't know, Dad. I'm not sure if we know Rosie well enough for her to keep such a big secret. <sighs> I understand your concerns, Jesse, but I trust you, and I think you should trust Rosie too. She's going to be a part of our family. And it's important for us to be honest with each other. I trust you, Dad. If you trust her, it's up to you to decide whether Rosie should know or not. You and Mama protected me all my life. You know what to do. Don't worry, Jesse. I know Rosie cares about you. And I'll never do anything to put you in harm's way. We're all in this together. Thanks, Dad. I know you're always looking out for me. Always, Jesse. Now, let's face our challenges as one family and one team. I'm proud of you, Jesse. You're growing up so fast. Thanks, Dad. One day when you're older, it'll be my turn to take care of you. I'm just getting ready for that day. That's why I've been planning. <laughs> Thanks, honey. You've always been good and always mean well. For now, have fun and keep inspiring. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. 
Mom, things are changing so fast. Rosie is coming to live with us. I wish you were still here so none of this would have to happen. Rosie, welcome to our home. We're just so glad you're here. <laughs> Thank you, Ethan and Jesse. I'm excited to be a part of your family. Oh. Rosie, I've been talking with Jesse. We want to open up our own ice cream shop. I'll quit my job to make it happen. That's a big step, Ethan. Is there money in ice cream? I'm sorry, I don't eat much of it. I'm afraid I'll get fat. Anyway, having your own business sounds like a good idea. How can I help? Well, I thought you might say that, and your help would mean a lot. But Ethan, quitting your job, how will we manage financially? Hmm. Don't worry, Rosie. We have a secret that can help fund the business. A secret? Yeah, uh, Jessie actually has a pretty unique ability. Instead of tears, she cries money. Wait, what? Are you joking? No, Rosie, it's true. Her tears turn into real money. I don't even know what to say. How is that possible? Wow. I mean, we don't fully understand it either, but it's been our family's secret for a long time. <sighs> well, well, you really are full of surprises, Ethan and Jesse. <laughs> hmm. Rosie, with this, we can create something amazing for our family. I'm on board, Ethan. I mean, who wouldn't want to be a part of a business? Oh, I'm just glad you're supportive and trustworthy, Rosie. This means a lot to us. You know, Ethan, I'm just wondering why we're only starting to build a business now. <laughs> well, I guess we've been waiting for the right moment. And now is the perfect time. Well, better late than never, right? Hmm. While I'm out tomorrow to turn over my resignation, well, maybe you and Jesse could spend some time together. You know, get to know each other. That's a great idea, Ethan. Jesse, what do you think? How about a fun day out in the mall? Hmm. Sure, Rosie, but I'm not really into malls. Come on, Jesse, it'll be a blast. We will have so much fun. I guess. Rosie, I'd like to visit other ice cream shops, if that's okay. Sure, Jesse. I promise we'll find something you'll enjoy. We'll have a great time together. <laughs> I'm glad to see you two making plans. Have fun, and I'll be back before you know it. What's up? <laughs> oh, Rosie, I've got some unexpected work to finish up and train my replacement. I might be gone longer than I thought. <sighs> Can you tell Jessie and take care of her until I get back? Of course, Ethan. Don't worry. I'll take good care of Jessie. Ciao. Jessie, it looks like your dad's got more work to do. He wants us to have a fun time together. Ready for some adventure? Hmm. Sure, Rosie. <laughs> oh, by the way, make sure to bring money. I have a long list of things to buy. <laughs> I only have money for ice cream, Rosie. Dad and I don't need anything. <gasps> Who said it was for both of you? Your dad asked me to take care of you, so I deserve to go shopping. I've been eyeing those designer bags, new clothes, and accessories for a while now. Today's the perfect day to shop for them. <laughs> Wait, what? You expect Dad to pay for all that expensive stuff? I can take care of myself. He doesn't need to pay anyone to take care of me. Uh, don't you dare talk to me that way. You don't know who I am and what I'm capable of doing. You cry money, so show me where you're hiding it and I'll grab some or cry now. <gasps> Rosie, that's not the way we spend money. Are you threatening me? Hmm. 
Oh, Jesse, let's stop pretending. We don't like each other and we know it. Give me money now so I can treat myself while you have the house to yourself. I'll take you home some ice cream as much as you want. That's the best deal you get from me. <sighs> <laughs> Don't you dare walk away from me! Open up! Stop! I'm going to tell my dad! Something bad will happen to your dad if you tell him, so make no mistake, or you'll be stuck with me. Open the door, now! Rosie, don't you dare hurt my dad! Jesse, you wouldn't want something bad to happen to you as well, right? Listen well and do as I say if you and your dad don't want to get hurt. Tell me how much you want. I'll give it to you. Then leave us alone. I thought that would get your attention. I'm not stupid. You won't get away easily. No one lets go of a jackpot. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Finally, you're useful for something. <sighs> I won't be long. I'll get you your ice cream. Remember, your dad is far away. Don't do anything stupid for both of your safety. Rosie is using us, and I can't let her harm Dad. But if I tell him, he might be in danger. I can't let that happen. Please, Mom, guide us. Help Dad see who Rosie really is without me telling him. Just like he used to help us when you were here. I won't call Dad. I trust you, Mom. Jesse, come down now. I have someone I want you to meet. He's my son, Maddox. <laughs> uh, hi. Hey. I got you some ice cream, Jesse. Eat it with Maddox. Thanks, Rosie, but I'm not hungry. I don't care. You will follow my instructions. Eat the ice cream with Maddox. <sighs> okay. So, you're the girl who cries money, huh? Mm-hmm. <sighs> Give me a lot of money. <laughs> okay. Good. Now cry more money. I can't just cry money on command. It doesn't work like that. I cried so much earlier and gave everything to your mom. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> we need money. Mom said you can cry it. So do it. We'll be waiting for it. Gather as much as you can, and don't make us wait long. I'll send you sad videos so you can cry easily. Mm. Maddox is right. We need money to buy our mansion. <sighs> we should get more money soon, or something bad will happen. Don't worry, Maddox. I got this. <laughs> I have to go, Mom. What have I gotten myself into? Hey, it's not a good time. I'll talk to you later. <sighs> Who's that, Jesse? Hmm. It it's my friend. <sighs> Hand me the phone. Ugh. Please don't do anything. 
Hello, this is Rosie, Jesse's stepmother. How about you come over for dinner? I'd love to meet you, Jesse's friend. Uh, sure. I'd love to meet you too. <laughs> Great. See you then. <laughs> I done. Here's more money. Please, I'm begging you. Don't do anything to Chuckles. He's my friend. <sighs> Jesse, you really need to understand. Your dad's safety and Chuckles' safety are in your hands. Give the money I ask for and shut up if you don't want anyone to get hurt. <sighs> huh? <laughs> Hi, I'm Chuckles, Jess's friend. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> Hello, Chuckles. I'm Rosie, Jess's stepmother. Come on in. We're just about to start dinner. <sighs> All right, let's start our dinner. Jesse, Chuckles, dig in. <laughs> Chuckles, do you know about Jesse's idea to open an ice cream store? Quite an ambitious plan for a young teen, don't you think? Hmm. Yeah, it's been our dream for a while. We've been learning a lot, trying new flavors and figuring out how to make it happen. <laughs> That's impressive. Glad to know that you're part of it. How did you two come up with this plan? Hmm. I think it's a cool story. It all started when we were working at the shop and got kicked out by Melina. Jess said, why not open our own ice cream store? At first, I thought it was a crazy idea. But the more we talked about it, the more it made sense. Who's Melina, and why did she kick you out? Hmm. Melina is a bully at Brookhaven School. She enjoys making things tough for Jess and me. We didn't know her family owns the ice cream shop. <sighs> I didn't know about that. Thanks for sharing that with me, Chuckles. I have a good feeling that we'll get along. I'll be helping around in the shop. What role will you be playing in the business? Hmm. I'm sure we'll all have a great time. Thank you for supporting our dream. I'll help with the creative side, coming up with fun flavors, designing the store, and making it a place where everyone wants to hang out. <laughs> Sounds like we'll be quite the team. <laughs> totally. <sighs> Well, dinner was amazing. Thank you, Jesse and Chuckles. <laughs> yeah, it was great. Thanks for inviting me. <laughs> Thank you for visiting, Chuckles. We'll see you real soon. Thanks, Rosie and Jess. See you soon. <laughs> Jesse, it's time to clean up the dining area and kitchen. Make sure everything is tidy before you go to bed. <laughs> sure, Rosie. And just so you remember, Jesse, I have a little secret that could ruin your precious ice cream store plans. Keep that in mind whenever I need money from you. Well, what do we have here? The famous Brookhaven ice cream shop. <laughs> oh, hey there. You must be new around here. Maybe or maybe not. <laughs> I heard this place is the talk of the town. You heard right. I'm Melina, by the way. Welcome to our shop. <laughs> it's nice to meet you, Melina. I'm Rosie. Wow, you look like you're ready to take over the world. <laughs> oh, you noticed? I do believe in dressing for success. <laughs> I 
like your style, Rosie. So, what brings you here? You don't look like you enjoy ice cream. Hmm. Well, I've heard a thing or two about some interesting people who come here often. People like Jesse and Chuckles. I'm Jesse's stepmother, actually. <laughs> Stepmother? Seriously? Oh, don't worry. Jessie and I have a unique relationship. She's not exactly thrilled about the fashion choices I've been suggesting. <sighs> <laughs> I can imagine. She badly needs a makeover. Exactly! Can you believe she rejected my offer for a makeover? Hmm. <laughs> Jessie rejecting a makeover? She doesn't know anything about looking good. And that friend of hers, Chuckles? I mean, the name says it all, doesn't it? Hmm? <laughs> Chuckles? Yeah, he's quite the loser. Melina, it seems like you and I share a common understanding. We both know what it's like to appreciate the finer things in life. You're not wrong, Rosie. I love being rich. <laughs> exactly, dear. And between you and me, we could add a dash of excitement to Brookhaven. I'm listening. Hmm. How about we join forces, Melina? Two powerful women working together, sharing secrets, and enjoying life to the fullest. <laughs> You've got my attention, Rosie, but what's in it for you? Mm? Oh, just the satisfaction of making some changes around here, shaking things up a bit. I'm in. <laughs> Let's make Jesse and Chuckle's lives a bit more interesting. <laughs> Surprise! Hmm. What? Rosie, what are you doing? Huh? Oh, Ethan, you're back early. I was just putting in money. Well, you see, Jessie has been crying money while you were away. She really misses you. <sighs> Where's Jessie? Why is so much money gone? What happened? Hmm. Well, Jesse is out looking for a spot for the store with Chuckles. We bought a lot of things for the ice cream shop. <laughs> That's not possible, Rosie. That's not how Jesse and I spend money that easily. Tell me the truth. Mm. Oh. What is all this? Rosie, tell me what's going on. Listen, Rosie, I need you to understand. You can take all the money and whatever else you want. Make sure Jesse is safe. If you say a word about Jesse's secret to anyone, the police will be involved. I won't allow her to be used by anyone. It's best if you leave now. Mm. Oops. Uh... Jesse, come home immediately. I need to know you're safe. I'm sorry. I should have believed you. You know? Where's Rosie? I saw Rosie taking money from the vault, and I realized immediately. You were right not to trust her all along. <sighs> I'm glad you're home and safe. That's all that matters. Thank you, Dad. Jesse, all your money may be gone, but I'm just glad to see you alive. I'll never leave you again, and I will never let strangers in. I'm so sorry. Don't worry, Dad. We know better now.
I know what you did, and I'm not letting you get away. Give Rosie the money, or I'm calling the police. Melina, please. You don't understand. Don't play dumb with me, Jessie. I know about Rosie and the money you owe her. I... I can't talk about it, Melina. So you admit it? I thought so. Dad? Something's wrong. Melina just called me and she knows about Rosie and the money. She's threatening to tell the police. <sighs> we can't risk it, Jesse. If Melina knows, who else might find out? Hmm. What do we do, Dad? We need to leave. Start fresh somewhere else, where they won't find us. <sighs> but what about Chuckles? He'll be all alone. We'll figure something out, Jesse. Your safety comes first. Your safety, too. I'll miss him. I know, sweetheart, but we'll find a way to stay in touch, and he'll understand. Uh... Okay. Hey, Chuckles. It's me. Jess, what's up? <laughs> Listen, Chuckles, something's happened. Melina knows about Rosie and the money. They teamed up. She's threatening to tell the police. What? How does she know? I guess Rosie went to Melina, but we can't take any risks. My dad and I are leaving now, moving away to stay safe. Wow, Jess, that's big. I know, Chuckles, I don't want to leave, but I can't put our safety in danger. You're right, safety comes first. I understand. I'll make sure to stay alert and away from them. <sighs> I'm going to miss you so much. Hey, we've got our ice cream dream, remember? This is just a break. We'll keep in touch, and one day, we'll make that dream a reality. <laughs> Promise? Mm -hmm. Promise. Stay safe, Jess. <laughs> Stay safe, Chuckles. I'll call you soon. <laughs> Thank you.